Exclusive Contract from Felu Novel Network Novel Elf Era From Dr. Menkebeo to champion superstar, Yi Yun traveled through time to become a teacher in the parallel world of drama. Before he could fully unleash his ambitions, he discovered that this world not only had familiar stars from the previous world, but also had elves. Ingbao carrying a cabby beast, Yanmi holding a nine-tailed tail, and so on, instantly made Yi Yun confused. But fortunately, Yi Yun has his own golden finger, and from then on, he has had a knowledgeable male god teacher in acting. In the world of trainers, foreigners refer to him as the undefeated king from the East. Of course, in my spare time, I can chat with all the female celebrities about life and ideals. In this situation, Ingbao angrily shouted, Don't seduce my teacher Yi. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 The Crosser in the Scene You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 The Crosser in the Scene Shanghai Theatre Academy, one of the three major performance colleges in China, has a long history. However, due to its professional background, it is not as serious as ordinary universities. Instead, it has a special vitality, which may be youth. Looking around the campus, a group of lively students, handsome men and beautiful women, form beautiful scenery one after another, especially female students. Spring orchids and autumn chrysanthemums, blooming with flowers, can only be seen from afar, with snow dot white and slender thighs emitting a dazzling light. Deep within the college, there is a beautiful courtyard that is not as noisy as other parts of the school, but rather has a unique and tranquil atmosphere that seems out of place with the school's environment. Within the courtyard, there is an exquisite villa. It is obvious that within a prestigious school like Shangxi, there can be such a large and beautiful villa. Its owner's identity must be extraordinary. Inside the villa, a young man stands in the center of the living room. He is wearing a T-dot shirt on his upper body, jeans on his lower body, and has broken hair, simple yet with a unique charm. His handsome face, especially his clear and deep eyes, are like stars. At this moment, those eyes, with a hint of excitement and anxiety, looked straight ahead. Yi Yun really felt that he must have done something outrageous in his previous life. He had been plagued by bad luck and had achieved nothing in his thirties. He finally found a part-time job distributing flyers, but in less than an hour, he was killed by a falling iron ball. Yes, Yi Yun has traveled through time. In theory, in this era, traveling is no longer a rare thing, and it has even become rampant online. Yi Yun was originally an orphan who had no worries in the world. Traveling through time was not an unacceptable thing for him, and he was even somewhat fortunate. So after confirming the fact of his time travel, Yi Yun quickly accepted it. Perhaps this was the special advantage of Otaku, especially after discovering that he had traveled to the theater, and Chen Chichi and Zheng Kai, who were graduates of previous years, were even more overjoyed. In his previous life, this routine had already been written poorly in online literature. He could even see his bright future, copying songs, writing novels, writing scripts, making movies, and in his spare time, he could hang out with more than a dozen beautiful women in the entertainment industry. In the end, he would become a godfather. But after a period of hard work, reality gave him a hard slap. In his previous life, he did read many novels and movies, but if he wanted to write it in its entirety, he could only say that he had thought too much. Especially after he went online to learn about the specific situation of the world, Yi Yun felt the malice from heaven. Even with his thick nerves as a otaku, he couldn't help but hit the heavens with a middle finger and included a classic national curse. Damn it, what kind of ghost is this Pokemon running all over the street? Is there any reason for such chaos? After carefully understanding the world, Yi Yun couldn't help but look up and sigh, can I refund my ticket for such a journey? Originally, although the background of this world is generally similar to the previous one, especially in the entertainment industry. The stars of the previous one also exist in this world, 
with some individual differences, the huge change is that there are magical treasures in this world. Pet elves, also known as Pokémon, exist in every aspect of this world, and trainers are also the most prestigious beings in this world. Trainers have certain privileges in various aspects of society. This aspect is very similar to the previous Pokémon anime. But what sets it apart from the previous anime is the danger. Yes, it's dangerous. Unlike in the original anime, humans seem to possess immortality, and no matter how Pokémon attacks, it's okay. In this world, people die every day from Pokémon attacks, especially in the wild. Just like Yi Yun's body, which seemed to have been attacked by Pokémon for some unknown reason before, causing serious injuries. It wasn't until he survived that Yi Yun was able to travel through it. However, speaking of it, the identity of this body is not simple. He is not a trainer, but a Pokémon researcher, and is a student of the famous Pokémon doctor. Dr. Chindamu. It should be noted that Pokémon doctor is not as simple as other professional doctors. Pokémon doctor is the highest achievement in Pokémon research, and even if you look at the whole of China, he is only a handful of people, each of whom is highly respected. Yi Yun, formerly a student of Dr. Chindamu, was truly talented in the research of Pokémon. At the age of a weak crown, he was hired as a professor of drama, which can be said to be the first time since the establishment of the school. However, his predecessor was unlucky and had just been hired by a play. He was assigned to a villa of his own, which can be considered as reaching the peak of his life. However, he didn't have time to attend a class and was attacked by a little elf in school, which also led to Yi Yun's journey. Inside the villa, Yi Yun's thoughts slowly flashed through his mind. He had been in this world for almost seven days, and from the shock and confusion of learning the truth of the world, he could now handle it calmly. The living conditions left by his predecessor were very good, at least Yi Yun didn't have to rush around for food and clothing issues. Compared to many predecessors who traveled through time, this was already a very favorable environment. What only displeased Ji Yun was that his predecessor did not have a single elf, because he had been staying at Dr. Oki's research institute, studying and researching elves. Dr. Oki's research institute had a wide range of elf species, and his predecessor had always focused on researching Pokémon, so he did not specifically recruit elves. This situation can be described as quite rare. Even elf researchers will cultivate one or two elves to protect their own safety, just like Yi Yun's teacher, Dr. Oki, who was once a famous trainer of the Heavenly King. Thinking of this, Yi Yun couldn't help but curse his brain, because in his memory, Dr. Daimu had advised his predecessor several times, but he never agreed. Yi Yun's thoughts were swirling, but his eyes were fixed on the front. In front of Yi Yun's body, in the center of the villa living room, a dazzling light hung in the air. In the center of the light, a black shadow constantly changed its shape. If ordinary trainers outside see the situation here, they will definitely exclaim in surprise. Evolution, evolution, as the most incredible thing in the elf world, can make a little elf change in appearance, talent, race, and other aspects, which is also the tireless pursuit of many trainers. Quickly, the light in front of Yi Yun gradually stabilized, and the little elf that slowly appeared in front of Yi Yun was undoubtedly the Great Needle Bee. Chapter 2 Big Needle Bee You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Big Needle Bee In the villa, the evolutionary light in front of Yi Yun slowly stabilized. Yi Yun, who had seen this situation for the first time, was also very excited. Although he had seen this situation in his memory at the Daiki Research Institute, it was a memory of his predecessor, not his own eyes. In front of Yi Yun, the light of evolution slowly dissipated, and the first thing that caught Yi Yun's eye was the sharp twin guns. A pair of red eyes, appearing cold and ruthless, remained motionless and floated quietly in the air. This was the elf in front of Yi Yun, a natural assassin. The Great Needle Bee Speaking of this big hornet, it is not the elf of Yi Yun's predecessor. It is just an iron shell koan saved by Yi Yun's predecessor on his way to Shanghai. 
The predecessor originally intended to wait for it to heal before releasing it, but when Yi Yun arrived, he was not as stubborn as his predecessor. Without saying a word, he immediately surrendered while Iron Shell Kun had a good relationship with him. As soon as he was released, Iron Shell Kun began to evolve. Watching the large needle be floating in mid-air, Yi Yun was thrilled in his heart. This was his first Pokémon, and this feeling was not comparable to playing Pokémon games in his previous life. Unconsciously, Yi Yun had already developed a liking for this world. Yi Yun stared closely at the Big Needle Bee, and a message slowly appeared in his eyes. Big Needle Bee Male Attribute Insect, Poison Height 1.2 m weight 25 kg feature Insect Premonition Hidden Feature Sniper Strength Elite Advanced Qualification Premium Lower Level, 88, Favorite Rating 120, 0 0.255, Evaluation A Highly Qualified Large Hornet, Recommended for Special Training However, its shortcomings include low endurance and outstanding object attack speed. It is recommended to train it specifically. Skills Hardening, Poison Needle, Spitting Silk, Gathering Chi, Double Needle, Anger, Poison Ling, High Speed Movement, Poison, Protection Looking at the information from the Big Needle Bee, Yi Yin felt like he had really found a treasure. He was a top-dot-notch elf, and even the Heavenly King Champion was envious of him. In this world, the qualifications of pet elves are divided into four levels. Qualifications 1.10 are beginner elves, also known as whiteboard elves, with low qualifications and no cultivation value. Qualifications 11.40 are lower level elves, divided into three stages. Most elves in the first stage are in this qualification, with qualifications 41.70 being medium level elves and 71.85 being upper level elves. High level elves are already very rare and there is no one in the world of elves, qualification 86.100 is a top-dot-notch elf, which is already a legend in the eyes of ordinary people. There is a saying circulating online. If you want to become the champion of the Heavenly King, go on an adventure in the jungle and catch a top-dot-quality elf. Then the Heavenly King is no longer a dream. Once the heavens open their eyes and catch a top-dot-quality elf, then the youth and champion will be your goal. Although the qualifications of elves are not fixed, most elves will have a slight improvement in their qualifications after evolution, but most of them will be below the top grade and will not exceed one level. Of course, there are exceptions. Netizens have once said that the world of elves is never lacking in miracles. There was once a trainer who caught a whiteboard walking grass and, through two stages of evolution, became a top-dot-notch king flower. In the end, he helped the trainer become the champion. Of course, this is just an exception, and there are only a few pet elves in the long history. So, it can be said that such a top-dot-notch hornet is so rare. It should be noted that hornets are not highly qualified elves. Apart from anything else, as long as the news spreads, there will definitely be many wealthy people willing to spend a lot of money to acquire it. Yi Yun can't help but feel that his predecessor was really unlucky. It can be said that as long as Yi Yun is willing, he will instantly become a wealthy person. Of course, Yi Yun is not so short dot sighted. You should know that in this world, elves are king, and as long as they have strength, wealth is easily obtainable. Originally, Yi Yun's predecessor was not interested in becoming a trainer, but now that Yi Yun has arrived, whether it is in the previous life of a pocket monster or in this world, Yi Yun knows that although the status of researchers is also transcendent, trainers are the mainstream. Now that Yi Yun has obtained this top-dot-notch hornet, he is even more determined to become a trainer. As for the Pokémon researcher, Yi Yun does not want to give up, after all, the Pokémon researcher has a special status, and Yi Yun has inherited all the knowledge from his predecessor. With the information from Yi Yun's past life, Yi Yun is confident that he will go far on this path. Looking at the big needle bee in front of him, Yi Yun became more and more fond of it. In his past life, 
he had always liked the big needle bee when playing Pokemon, which was also one of the necessary elves for Yi Yun to practice. Looking at the skill information of the big needle bee, Yi Yun was pleasantly surprised, especially to protect this skill. You should know that the big needle bee cannot learn this skill on its own, it can only learn through a skill machine. Now, Yi Yun's elf actually knows it, which can only be due to genetic reasons. Looking at the information box in front of him that only he could see, Yi Yun was extremely surprised. This was his golden finger, able to see the specific information of the little elf. Even the most professional little elf inspection machine cannot quickly and clearly find the information of a little elf. Having this special ability, one has unparalleled advantages in both training and research, which others cannot match. And Yi Yun realized that his golden finger was not just that simple. Since crossing over, Yi Yun has found an iron elf ball in his mind, which is the iron ball that smashed him to death in the previous life. Just now, after subduing the hornet, the elf ball in my mind suddenly opened and flew a red light, and then I gained this ability. It was obvious that Yi Yun realized his biggest golden finger was the Pake ball in his mind. Although he didn't know the conditions for opening the Pake ball, and even if he never opened it again, he had already gained such an ability. Yi Yun also felt that he had made a profit. As an otaku, contentment has always been Yi Yun's greatest principle in life. Seeing Yi Yun in a daze and ignoring himself, the big hornet became a bit anxious and kept dancing around Yi Yun, its wings fluttering and making a buzzing sound, circling around him. Yi Yun chuckled lightly as he watched the anxious appearance of the big needle bee, feeling interesting and a hint of warmth floating in his heart. All right, all right, I know I shouldn't forget you, Yi Yun comforted and reached out to touch the head of the hornet. The giant hornet made a buzzing sound, and although he couldn't understand it, Yi Yun could feel its joy and closeness to himself. After playing with the hornet for a while, Yi Yun collected it into the Pokemon ball. Previously, in order to take care of this big hornet, Yi Yun had not rested well for several consecutive days. Now that everything was settled, Yi Yun felt a surge of fatigue like waves. He took a deep breath and walked towards the bedroom. Chapter 3 Unexpected Visitors You are listening at NovelFull.audio Big Needle Bee, attacking the wall in front with two needles. In the open courtyard, a clear and transparent sound suddenly sounded, followed by a sonic boom of, brushing, brushing. In the spacious courtyard, the once beautiful lawn and walls are now in a mess. In the center of the yard, Yi Yun placed his hands in bags, his slightly long hair swaying slowly with the breeze. In front of him, Yi Yun's large needle bee was waving its two needles, attacking the tall wall of the yard. Yi Yun stood quietly, watching the slightly bulky figure of the giant hornet. The reason for this was because the giant hornet was wearing a black armor, which Yi Yun specially made for the giant hornet to carry weight. It has been three days since the evolution of the giant hornet to this day, and during these three days, Yi Yun has been conducting devilish training on the giant hornet every day. Yi Yun knew in his heart that although talent is important, without arduous training, the ultimate qualification can only become a castle in the air. Therefore, Yi Yun specially crafted this weight-bearing armor for the Great Needle Bee to train its endurance. Although the Great Needle Bee is characterized by high attack speed, combined with the characteristics of a sniper, it is suitable to become a one-shot kill existence. However, Yi Yun believes that the advantages need to be strengthened, but the disadvantages cannot be ignored. Moreover, training with weight can not only enhance endurance, but also enhance the speed of the giant hornet. Bumblebee, don't stop, dive from high altitude and attack the ground. Seeing the trend of the bumblebee's flight speed decreasing, Yi Yun shouted in time and urged the bumblebee. Fortunately, the great needle bee has a resilient personality and has always meticulously executed Yi Yun's training commands. As Yi Yun's words fell, the attack of the giant hornet also landed on the lawn. With a loud bang, a large pit appeared on the lawn, accompanied by flying grass. Looking at the scene in front of him, Yi Yun nodded in satisfaction and expressed satisfaction with the attack power of the giant hornet. All right, 
let's take a break for the big needle bee. Looking at the time, he noticed that it was almost noon, and Yi Yun stopped the big needle bee from continuing to attack. It is important to balance work and rest, as blindly training with one's life may leave behind hidden injuries. Entering the villa, Yi Yun prepared a special combination of elf food for the giant hornet, which he had learned from his predecessor, Dr. Oki. Seeing the hornet eating with relish, Yi Yun nodded with satisfaction. Yi Yun didn't bother with the big hornet indulging in food anymore. He walked into the room, collapsed on the sofa, and casually turned on the TV, wanting to see if there were any interesting programs. The huge screen suddenly lit up, accompanied by a 360-degree surround sound system, which was comparable to a typical small cinema. In this situation, Yi Yun was just muttering about corruption when he first saw it, and now it has become commonplace. A certain variety show is playing on TV, and the guest Yi Yun is very familiar. It should be said that she was very familiar in the previous life. Yang Mi, like in the previous life, is also a well-known actress, but it seems that she has not been married in this life. In the program, Yang Mi was accompanied by a beautiful nine-tailed creature dancing slowly. Her delicate face exuded a unique charm, making Yi Yun outside the screen unable to help but feel dizzy. From the program, it can be seen that this nine-tailed fox is the fairy of Yang Mi, and it is well managed. The fur color is quite beautiful, which shows her intentions. It made Yi Yun exclaim that it is indeed fox honey, but when it comes to strength, Yi Yun can only say he he. However, for many celebrities, trainers are just a gilded identity. They cannot spend a lot of time training elves. Although high dot level trainers are much more noble than celebrities, those characters are not just one in a million, and their talent and perseverance are indispensable. Of course, there are also some celebrities in the entertainment industry who have quite good abilities. But many celebrities only value the identity of a trainer, after all, having a trainer identity is still very popular. The identity of a trainer is not difficult to test. As long as you are at least 16 years old and have an elf, you can register as a new trainer in the elf association. Later, you can become a junior trainer by passing the exam, but at the later level, you need to speak based on your strength. By the way, the trainer levels in this world are divided into newcomer, junior, intermediate, advanced, elite, quasi-king, king of heaven, quasi-champion, and champion. The official does not specify the realm above the champion. On the surface, the champion is already the highest level of combat power in various countries. As for the hidden strength, Yi Yun is not clear. It should be noted that a champion's attack power has exceeded that of ordinary nuclear weapons. However, Yi Yun knows from his previous life experience that there are also the realm of masters and masters above the champion, but he does not know if there are such people in this world. Yi Yun was unaware of the characters above the champion, and Dr. Oki had never mentioned them to him. However, Yi Yun knew that the strength of some divine beasts must surpass that of the champion. For example, Lykong Sitting is currently the only supernatural beast that humans know its location. The technological strength of this world far exceeds that of Yi Yunshang, but humans have not yet landed in space because of Lykong Sitting in the ozone layer. Lykong Sitting will attack everything that enters the ozone layer, to the extent that with the development of technology, humans can only sigh at the sky. Even launching satellites can only be in low Earth orbit. So in this world, humans are not exclusive. Although humans coexist peacefully with elves and even gradually control them, there are still many powerful elves that exist independently, some of which are hostile to humans. Danger is everywhere, Yi Yun exclaimed when he saw the news popping up on a TV program. A luxury yacht was attacked by unknown elves in the Pacific, with the ship destroyed and people killed. The news did not provide a detailed report on the specific process, just passed by and quickly returned to the previous variety show. Yi Yun did not think carefully and continued to watch the show with great interest. Wow, Teacher Yi, do you also like watching this program? I really like it too, a crisp and beautiful voice suddenly sounded in Yi Yun's ear. Yi Yun was startled and bounced off the sofa with a swipe 
turning back angrily. Yi Yun turned back in anger, and what caught his eye was a beautiful face. A young girl, who was not sure when, was excitedly looking at him behind Yi Yun. A smooth forehead, a round fleshy face, and a pair of cute big eyes blinking at Yi Yun, their adorable appearance instantly calmed the anger that Yi Yun had not yet emitted. Zhao Liying Yi Yun was very surprised and didn't know how the girl appeared in his villa. Chapter 4 Ing Bao and Cabby Beast You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Ing Bao and Cabby Beast, Zhao Liying Yi Yun let out an exclamation of surprise, expressing immense surprise at the girl who suddenly appeared in front of him. Wow, this program is super beautiful, and there's also Yang Mi, her nine tails are super beautiful. Zhao Liying exclaimed in shock. Zhao Liying Yi Yin said to the girl who was suddenly immersed in the program, speechless, and couldn't help but let out a soft drink. Oh, hello teacher Yi. Zhao Liying regained her senses and quickly bowed to Yi Yun, clasping her hands together and bowing three times. Her respectful expression reminded Yi Yun of the scene of going to the grave on Qingming Festival, and she suddenly had a black line on her head. Ah! Teacher Yi, how did you know my name is Zhao Liying? Zhao Liying respectfully bowed before suddenly reacting and asked in a voice. Yi Yun felt speechless about this silly and cute girl. He thought to himself that he had vomited watching your TV dramas in his previous life. However, he didn't expect that Zhao Liying was actually a student in the drama industry. After all, she came from a commoner actor background in her previous life, and as a student in this life, she was obviously even more foolish and cute. Of course, Yi Yun couldn't explain everything to her. Looking at the girl in front of him who blinked her eyes due to confusion, he spoke up and said, I know you're because. Hmm. By the way, how do you know I'm a teacher? and how did you get into my place? Zhao Liying was a bit confused by Yi Yun's sudden question, and she didn't turn around for a moment, completely forgetting the question she had asked earlier. Zhao Liying tilted her head and said in a crisp voice, it was Sister Fei who told me. She is also a teacher at the school, but you are not as talented as Teacher Yi. Sister Fei once said that you are the youngest professor at the school and also teach Pokemon. Zhao Liying became more and more excited as she spoke, waving her fist as she spoke. Yi Yun chuckled lightly, as if he had gained a silly and cute fan, but this feeling was still good. By the way, Li Ying, are you here for anything? Yi Yun was a bit strange about the silly girl who suddenly appeared in his room, not knowing her purpose. Hmm. I'm here to see you, Teacher Yi, Zhao Liying said, tilting her head. Look at me. Yi Yun was even more strange. He knew very well that he didn't know this girl before. Yeah, Zhao Liying nodded vigorously. Yi Yun became even more strange and said, Look at me, did we know each other before? I know, no, I don't know. Zhao Liying nodded and shook her head vigorously. Yi Yun felt a little dizzy from her words and reached out to hold on to Zhao Liying's constantly moving head, asking, what's going on? Do you know or don't you? Zhao Liying's head was pressed down, but she couldn't move despite trying hard. Her small face turned red and she said, I don't know you anymore, but my cabby beast knows you. Cabby beast. Yi Yun felt like he couldn't keep up with her train of thought and couldn't understand what she was saying. However, Yi Yun didn't expect that Zhao Liying, a cute girl, would have an elf-like cabby beast. Yes, yes, my cabby beast is super cute and very powerful. Many people in our class can't beat me, Zhao Liying said excitedly. Zhao Liying finished speaking and took out the elf ball from her waist, throwing it towards the center of the room. Wait, Yi Yun saw that he wanted to release an elf and immediately spoke out to stop it. You know, with the physique of a cabby beast, if he were to release it in the room, Yi Yun couldn't imagine what his room would look like. But before Yi Yun could finish speaking, Zhao Liying was already on her hips with one hand, throwing the Pokemon ball like lightning, he chuckled, come out, cabby beast. Watching the parabola drawn by the Pokemon ball, 
Yi Yun stroked his forehead with one hand and couldn't bear to see the next scene. The pake ball thrown by Zhao Liying slammed onto the ground, but nothing happened. Obviously, the pake ball was empty. Zhao Liying stared blankly at the pake ball, seemingly stunned for a moment, as if she didn't know why her pake ball was empty. Yi Yun took a deep breath and looked at Zhao Liying, who was standing still. He noticed that the little girl's eyes had turned a little red, and he immediately understood that she must have thought her cabby beast had been lost. Yi Yun had just wanted to tease her, but then he dispelled the idea. If this lonely man and widow made the little girl cry, it would be unpleasant to hear. All right, Yi Yun touched Zhao Liying's head and said, Don't be sad. Did you bring the wrong Pokemon ball and put the cabby beast where you lived? At this moment, Zhao Liying lowered her head, her nose twitched, and the golden bean in her eyes was about to fall. Upon hearing Yi Yun's words, Zhao Liying looked up at him, tilted her head for a moment, and then exclaimed excitedly, Yes, I remember. I left the cabby beast at Sister Fei's house. That's great. I didn't lose my cabby beast. Thank you, Teacher Yi. Yi Yun looked at the girl in front of him speechlessly, unsure of what to say. After a while of confusion, he still couldn't figure out her purpose for coming. I'm sorry, Teacher Yi. I forgot to bring the cabby beast, so it can't come to see you. Yi Yun rubbed his temples and asked softly, Liying, why is the cabby beast coming to see me? Because cabby beast wants to apologize to you, Zhao Liying blinked and said. Hmm. Yi Yun became increasingly confused as he listened, looking at her in confusion. Just last time, not far from the villa door, you were hit by Mount Tai of Cabby Beast. Mount Tai is overwhelming, hit me. By the way, last time Sister Fei took me out for training, you happened to pass by Teacher Yi, and ended up being. Zhao Liying said with a hint of embarrassment, but Teacher Yi is so amazing. It's okay to be hit by a Cabby Beast, just like Sister Fei's monster power. Listening to Zhao Liying's explanation, Yi Yun suddenly woke up. Isn't it that his predecessor was attacked by elves and then died? Thinking of the huge black shadow that fell from the sky in his predecessor's memory, Yi Yun couldn't help but shiver all over. Yi Yun glanced at the cute Zhao Liying and couldn't help but sympathize with his predecessor for three seconds. Encountering such an unreliable girl, he could only consider himself unlucky. However, on the other hand, how did Zhao Liying pass the trainer exam? All right, forget it, but you must pay attention to training in the future, you know. Mm, Zhao Liying nodded her little head vigorously. Okay, if it's okay, you can go back first. You should still have classes this afternoon. After understanding the situation, Yi Yun didn't blame him, as it wasn't his own fault. Goodbye, Teacher Yi. Zhao Liying bowed three more times without looking up, and ran towards the door with a thud. Yi Yun shook his head and was about to sit down when Zhao Liying bounced in and said in a crisp voice, Next time, Teacher Yi can call me Ying Bao. Without waiting for Yi Yun to respond, he ran out bouncing and jumping. Chapter 5 Insights on Campus You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Insights on Campus Yi Yun strolled alone within the campus, where the university courses were very relaxed. As a result, groups of students could be seen everywhere, with laughter and joy filling the air. A couple holding hands with each other made Yi Yun's eyes a bit hot. Passing by the playground, one can also see students engaged in a Pokemon battle, during which occasional screams of surprise can be heard. There are a lot of people on the playground, just because although the play is large, the school also has restrictions on fighting against elves due to the amazing destructive power of Pokemon. In general road situations, it is not allowed to engage in battles at will, only in a few specialized venues, which are specially built by schools for Pokemon battles. On the playground, where the number of athletes is the highest, the school has specially built two rows of more than ten open spaces for students to compete in their spare time. What an interesting life. Yi Yun sighed lightly. 
Yi Yun came out today to find the school leaders because he was a specially hired professor by the school. It is said that it was also an old principal of the school who came forward to persuade Dr. Daimu, after all, Yi Yun was once the most outstanding student of Dr. Daimu. This world is mainly dominated by elves, so the proportion of Pokemon courses in various universities is very high. Overall, although there are many prestigious universities in this world, there are not many outstanding ones in both general disciplines and Pokemon. Based on the current situation, it is only a small number of double-handed. Excluding the Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan regions, only in mainland China, Tsinghua University, Peking University, Fudan University, and Zhejiang University, these are four well-established prestigious schools with strong academic strength. In addition, these three performing arts colleges, including Peking Opera, Peking Opera, and Chinese Opera, also have good academic strength. In addition, there is the National Defense University of the People's Liberation Army, which has considerable academic strength. In recent years, Shanghai Jiao Tong University has been catching up and has a great potential to catch up. In addition to the nine universities mentioned above, there is also a Pokemon Academy located in the capital, which is different from other universities. This is a pure Pokemon Academy, with only majors related to Pokemon, so its academic strength has always been. Number 1, Number 2 These ten universities are currently the top colleges in the country and the schools that all students dream of. Although Shanghai Theatre Academy is one of the top ten universities, in recent years, some well-known professors at the school have retired due to age, and the teaching staff has greatly declined. In recent years, although the students have been doing well in other aspects, their strength in the Pokémon aspect has not been ideal, especially in last year's joint exchange competition between the ten universities, the students who participated in the drama program surprisingly ranked last. Especially after a disastrous defeat to Beiying and two old enemies in Zhongxi, the entire school was tarnished. All of this has also increased the pressure on school leaders, who are determined to make improvements. Yi Yun was invited to play in this situation. Although his predecessor was not a Pokémon trainer, an excellent Pokémon trainer requires not only combat skills, but also an understanding of Pokémon. Yi Yun was the professor specially hired by the school for this major action, but he has been at the school for almost a month now, and the school leaders have not arranged his work. Therefore, Yi Yun came out to inquire with the school leaders. But only after he came out did he realize that he didn't know the way. This student, wait a moment, Yi Yun reached out and stopped two female classmates walking towards him. What's wrong, handsome guy? I want to start a conversation. Both girls have excellent looks, and it was one of the short-haired girls who spoke with a proud and coquettish expression, with a hint of carefree voice. Yi Yun didn't care about the girl's tone, after all, as he has been a person for two generations, he naturally wouldn't get angry with the same girl due to the tone of a sentence. He whispered, don't misunderstand, I just want you to ask for a way. The girl with short hair curled her lips and looked quite disdainful. Another girl with long hair seemed to find her friend's tone impolite. She gently pulled the girl's arm and stopped, saying, Xiao Chu. Her voice was gentle and gentle, clearly a well-behaved girl. Guan Guan, you're just too kind. I've seen this kind of guy many times. The short-haired girl waved her hand, her voice was gentle and pleasant, but her words were quite sarcastic. Now is not the day for new students to enroll. They are all students from the same school. Asking for directions is definitely malicious and taking the opportunity to strike up a conversation. Oh my, shouts you. The well-behaved girl stopped her friend who wanted to continue talking and whispered to Yi Yun, I'm sorry, classmate. My friend has no ill intentions. Don't mind, by the way, where do you want to go? Yi Yun shook his head, although there was also a hint of anger in his heart, he could see that this girl must have come from a wealthy family and been favored since childhood. Therefore, her personality was somewhat reckless, and she was not a person of great treachery or evil, but just a bit sarcastic. This student, I want to ask how to get to the principal's office. 
Yi Yin didn't talk to the short-haired girl anymore, but asked the well-behaved girl with long hair. After the girl pointed out the direction, Yi Yun thanked her and didn't stay much. She walked straight towards the direction pointed out by the girl. Finally arrived, Yi Yun let out a long breath. The campus for the play was really big. Yi Yun walked around for almost an hour before arriving here, and couldn't help but think to himself, if only there were a riding elf. Looking at the words, Principal's Office, on the door sign, Yi Yun knew he had found the right place, and then slowly walked forward, gently knocking on the door a few times. A majestic and solemn voice came from behind the door, and Yi Yun pushed the door in. The various configurations in the office are quite simple, without any particularly luxurious features. In the center of the office, behind a huge desk, there is an elderly man in his fifties and sixties with gray hair buried in his head, probably the principal himself. Hello principal, Yi Yun walked slowly forward and said hello softly. The principal heard the sound and lifted his head from the mountain of documents, looking at the young man standing in front of him with a hint of doubt in his eyes. He couldn't help but ask, is there anything wrong with this student? My name is Yi Yun and I'm here to inquire about my work. Oh, you are Professor Yi Yun. It's better to meet him than to be famous. Professor Yi is even younger than you imagined. He is truly young and promising, and truly worthy of being a disciple of Dr. Daimu. The principal suddenly understood and stood up, holding Yi Yun's hand with both hands, and laughing loudly. Yi Yun also felt an unnatural feeling towards the enthusiasm of the principal. He took out his tightly held hand and smiled, saying, The principal is too praised, but I have been at school for a month now and have nothing to do, so I came over to ask about my work arrangements. Chapter 6 Encountering Ingbao Again You are listening at NovelFull.audio Sure, I was also thinking of discussing my ideas about the course with Professor Yi. The principal nodded and laughed, saying, But now we are in the middle of the semester, and we can't start a new course in a hurry. The principal lightly tapped his desk with two fingers and said, All right, Professor Wang, who teaches the characteristics of Pokemon at school, fell ill and was hospitalized a while ago. The school has not been able to find a substitute teacher. I wonder what Professor Yi thinks. Sure, there's no problem with me here. You can attend classes at any time, Yi Yun nodded in response. With his knowledge of Pokémon combined from two lifetimes, his understanding of Pokémon can be said to be no less than that of any PhD, only lacking in reputation. The principal also nodded in satisfaction, then took out a thick file bag from the drawer and handed it to Yi Yun, saying, This is information about the courses you teach, including the time and location. We have three classes per week, which can be said to be relatively easy. We will prepare courses specifically for Professor Yi next semester. Yi Yun took the document and casually flipped through it to roughly understand the status of the course. This is not a course for students majoring in performance, but an elective course in economics and management. However, the number of students taking the course is not small. It can be said that in this world, as long as there are courses related to Pokemon, the number of students taking the course is not small. So, that's it. Professor Yi can go to class next week. Also, do you know if Professor Yi has any other requirements for the school? Hmm. Yi Yun pondered for a moment and said, I don't know if the school has a research room for Pokemon. I may need to do some research on a regular basis. Although Yi Yun has decided to become a trainer, it does not mean that he will give up his identity as a researcher. Therefore, a research laboratory is very necessary for future research. The principal nodded and happily replied, Of course, the school has its own research room. Since the retirement of several senior professors, there hasn't been much use now, but there are dedicated personnel to take care of it. Later, I will have someone deliver the key to Professor Ye's residence, and the research room can be handed over to Professor Ye for special use. The principal laughed heartily and said, if Professor Yi can make unique discoveries in elf research in the future, our school will also be honored. 
Yi Yun nodded and then chatted with the principal from all over the world for a while. Seeing that the principal was really busy with work, he didn't continue to disturb him. After leaving the principal's office, Yi Yun saw that it was still early and didn't rush back. Instead, he casually strolled around the campus. He said that he had been in this world for some time, but he hadn't really visited the school. Now that he had time, he could also familiarize himself with the school environment. Being in the theater deserves the reputation of a prestigious school. The campus environment is very beautiful, with rows of green stone paved paths and rows of trees planted next to them, interspersed with blooming flowers, which makes people feel relaxed and happy, especially the occasional group of beautiful female students passing by, which is enough to make any man intoxicated. Unconsciously, they arrived at the playground again, where groups of students gathered. During this time, noisy cheers and curses could be heard from time to time. Yi Yun knew that there must be students fighting, and those around him were onlookers. Yi Yun was not prepared to come forward to watch, not because he was not interested in the battle, but because the students in front of him were mostly beginner trainers with limited strength, which made him unable to show any interest. Yi Yun immediately turned back and prepared to return to his own house. Just then, a crisp sound came from the playground, with a hint of anger, making Yi Yun take back the steps he had just taken. Although the sound just now was brief, Yi Yun had already recognized what seemed to be Ying Bao's voice. He still had a good impression of this confused little girl, who claimed to be his fan. Upon hearing Ying Bao's angry voice, it seemed very aggrieved. Of course, Yi Yun couldn't stand by and walked forward towards the gathering place of the largest crowd. Yi Yun had already heard Ying Bao's voice coming from there, and the voice became increasingly urgent. Yi Yun couldn't help but accelerate his pace. Yi Yun struggled to squeeze into the crowd, only to see three or four oily and pink-faced young people surrounded by two young girls. One of them was wearing a pink dress, with a bulging mouth and an angry face. It was Zhao Liying, standing next to her, with a black top paired with tight denim, and a pair of slender legs that left a deep impression on people when they first met. How about it, Xiao Tong? As long as you agree to go on a date with me, I'll let you go. Xiao Tong, it's been so long, and you should know my feelings. I really like you. As soon as Yi Yun squeezed into the crowd, he heard an arrogant voice coming, which was the leader among those young people. The young man had green hair on his head, his speech was very frivolous, his eyes were shining with evil light, and he didn't seem like a good person at first glance. He was leading several subordinates around Xiao Liying and her companions. Humph, you can't imagine that Xiao Tong wouldn't date someone like you, Xiao Liying said in a playful voice, her face bulging and obviously very angry. Zheng Xiaowei, I have already made it very clear to you. Please step aside and don't come harassing me again, said the girl named Xiao Tong with a cold and pretty face. That's right, that's right, without looking at what she looks like like a green-haired turtle. A toad wants to eat swan meat, and we Xiao Tong wouldn't bother with you. Zhao Liying's venomous tongue made Yi Yun chuckle lightly. Although this girl is silly, her words can really anger her. Amidst the onlookers, there was also a burst of laughter. Zheng Xiaowei's face turned red with anger, and he pointed a finger at Zhao Liying, unable to speak for a long time. Zhao Liying was not afraid, but made a face at him, which made Yi Yun chuckle lightly. Upon hearing Yi Yun's laughter, Zheng Xiaowei also reacted and glared fiercely at him, saying, Zhao Liying, this matter has nothing to do with you. Don't meddle in anything, but if you must participate, none of my brothers have girlfriends. You can play with them. His attendants behind him also made some voices of agreement, their language was vulgar and vulgar, causing Yi Yun's eyebrows to furrow slightly. Zhao Liying became even more angry and scolded in a playful voice, humph, green turtle, daydreaming, shameless, bah. Zheng Xiaowei became angry and embarrassed, saying, Zhao Liying, stop talking nonsense. Isn't your cabbie beast very powerful? As long as you win over my friend, I'll let you go. Zheng Xiaowei's words fell as a gloomy-looking man with long hair walked out from behind him. 
The man's gaze slowly swept over the two girls, and a hint of lust flashed through his eyes. As long as you defeat my elf, you can leave at will, the man's voice was proud, and then Peng threw out the elf ball. A white light flashed past, and an elf appeared on the field. Chapter 7 Take Out and Flash Sail You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 7 Take Out and Flash Sail A white light flashed past, and an elf appeared in the center of the field. Chaba is an Abe monster, lying quietly in the middle of the field with its body crossed, staring fixedly at the two girls. Staring at the massive Abe monster, the two girls were startled and couldn't help but retreat in succession. Zheng Xiaowei is also extremely proud. He has already inquired and found out that Guan Xiaodong's elf was injured a few days ago and is currently being cultivated in the elf center. Although Zhao Liying's cabby beast is powerful, it has only been trained recently and is only at most at the level of an intermediate elf. The friend he invited outside of school, who evolved from an Abe snake to an Abe monster a few days ago, has become a high dot level elf and can easily deal with the two girls. Humph, there's nothing special about it. I didn't bring the cabby beast today, so I'll fight you again next time. Although Zhao Liying is usually a bit silly, she's not stupid. She knows she can't stand the opponent of the Abe monster and doesn't agree. Since you dare not participate in the battle, you have agreed to go on a date with me. Huh, Guan Xiaotong belongs to me, Wu Gang, and Zhao Liying belongs to you. Zheng Xiaowei laughed heartily and said to the long-haired man. Who dares not fight anymore? We just haven't brought any elves, Zhao Liying said urgently. Besides, who promised to date you? Humph, you're shameless. Humph, with sharp teeth and sharp mouth, there's time for you to scream at night, Zheng Xiaowei said coldly, that's too much. They just didn't bring any elves, what's so arrogant about them? Yes, and it seems that the girl didn't agree to date him either. Look at that man, he's already in his thirties, and he's really shameless to bully two little girls. After hearing Zheng Xiaowei's arrogant words, there was a commotion among the students around, and from time to time, someone spoke out to support the two girls. Upon hearing the support of the surrounding students, several men's faces darkened at the same time. The long-haired man named Wu Gang coldly said, whoever refuses, come up and fight me for the two of them. The students around suddenly fell silent and took a few steps back, leaving a large open space in the middle. The two girls stood in the center, appearing even more isolated and helpless. Seeing the students around them recoil, several of them became even more proud and burst out laughing wildly. Looking at the timid gaze of the students around him, Yi Yun shook his head for a moment. It's no wonder that in the battle with other schools, he was defeated in a series of battles in the drama. The students in the drama did indeed lack a sense of sharpness. However, these few people are really bold and daring. They even want to use a mere high dot level elf to bully boys and girls in school. Yi Yun couldn't help but marvel at their imagination. As one of the top ten prestigious schools, Shangxi has taught countless students over the years. Not only the fighting power of the teachers in the school, but also their wide network. Even the Heavenly King dare not be too reckless, and some minor frictions between students are also ignored, no one would argue too much, and these few people actually want to forcibly snatch female students, I don't know how their brains grow. Thinking of this, Yi Yun no longer continued to watch the play. Not to mention that he knew Zhao Liying, even if he didn't know her, as a teacher, he wouldn't watch outsiders bully female students at school. At this moment, all the students were just surrounding from a distance, and Yi Yun's sudden departure was particularly eye-dot catching, immediately attracting a series of gazes. Yi Yun didn't care and walked slowly to the two girls, blocking the lewd gaze of a few hooligans. He whispered, I'll accompany you to fight. How about that? Wow, Teacher Yi! Seeing the sudden appearance of Yi Yun, Zhao Liying let out a scream of surprise. Then, a burst of joy rushed to Yi Yun's side, hugging his arm and shouting excitedly, Teacher Yi, they are so despicable. You must teach them a good lesson, this long-haired snake man, and that green-haired turtle. 
Yi Yun touched Zhao Liying's head without saying a word. He looked coldly at the people in front of him and said, How are you? Zheng Xiaowei didn't expect anyone to dare to step forward, and he couldn't help but get angry. He said, Ha ha, I didn't expect that there would really be heroes saving the beauty. Wu Gang, hit me to the death. Seeing someone stand up, there were bursts of screams around. Wow, such a handsome little guy, and he also has such a sense of justice. I suddenly feel like I'm in love, a few female students exclaimed with a blush on their faces. Alas! This person is too unwise. You should know, everything comes from being strong. Humph, what's so remarkable? Maybe we'll have a disastrous defeat later. Yi Yun ignored the various comments of the students around him, but quietly watched the Abe monster in the field. You should know, this was his first elf battle, and there was inevitably some excitement in his heart. At this moment, a message had already appeared in Yi Yun's eyes. Abe monster. Male attribute. Poison height. 2.5 m weight. 35 kilograms characteristic. Molting strength. Advanced beginner qualification. Lower grade high level, 35, favorite rating. 100 skills. Poison needle, bite, big snake stairs, noise, curling evaluation. ABA monster with low qualifications, forced evolution leads to poor development, inability to improve strength, and no further cultivation value. Looking at the information from Abe Monster, Yi Yun couldn't help but sigh. Weak chicken you should know that most mature Abe Monsters weigh at least 60 kilograms, but this one in front of you is only half, and it has evolved so forcefully that it cannot progress. Such opponents even make Yi Yun unable to arouse his desire to fight. Seeing Yi Yun's hesitation, Wu Gang across from him thought he was afraid and couldn't help but sneer, Why, haven't you released the elves yet? Are you afraid? Ha <laughs> ha. Zhao Liying, who was behind her, also had a hint of worry in her heart. She also remembered that Sister Fei seemed to have said that Teacher Yi was an elf researcher, but in an instant, she was thrown away. Teacher Yi is so powerful, there must be no problem. You should know, the little girl has already become Yi Yun's brainless fan. In her heart, Teacher Yi is omnipotent. Yi Yun looked at the arrogant Wu Gang and couldn't help but sigh, looking for death. Then slowly take out the elf ball from your body and gently throw it. After a burst of white light flashed, Yi Yun's big needle beak quietly appeared in the middle of the field. Wow, Teacher Ye's elf is a big needle bee, so cute, Zhao Liying exclaimed excitedly. Guan Xiaotong, who was beside her, was also speechless to her best friend for a moment. However, as she looked at the large hornet on the field, a strange color flashed in her eyes. She could vaguely feel the power of the large hornet and couldn't help but take a long sigh of relief. Hurry up, Wu Gang, get rid of that big hornet. Zheng Xiaowei stood behind Wu Gang, jumping and shouting. Wu Gang breathed a sigh of relief when he saw the sprite released by Yi Yun. The strength of the great needle bee is usually not very strong, but for some reason, he felt uneasy as he looked at Yi Yun, who was calm and gentle across the street. As the unease grew stronger in his heart, Wu Gang could no longer wait any longer and commanded the Abe monster to launch a fierce attack. With a whoosh, the Abe monster charged towards the hornet. Regarding this situation, Yi Yun was not panicked. Recently, as he had been training the giant hornet every day, he couldn't help but shake his head when he saw the speed of the Abe monster. He had to sigh in his heart, what a poorly developed Abe monster. Big needle bee, avoid it, Yi Yun said calmly. As Yi Yun's words fell, the big hornet's wings moved and instantly disappeared into place. And when Abe monster saw the disappearing opponent in front of him, he appeared very panicked, shaking his head in place, not knowing what to do. Wu Gang seemed to have been stunned by the speed of the big needle bee. He didn't give any instructions for a long time, and Yi Yun didn't take advantage of the situation to attack. He just stood calmly in place. Later, Wu Gang suddenly reacted and was also angry at Yi Yun's contempt. 
He shouted angrily, Abe Monster, behind you, use the big snake to stare. Avoid, Abe Monster, behind you, rush over and bite. Avoid, Abe Monster, behind you, poison needle attack. Avoid, Big Hornet, with repeated attacks and missed hits, while the opponent did not even use any skills, Wu Gang's eyes were already red with excitement. And the surrounding students had already realized that Wu Gang's Abe Monster was not a match at all. Although surprised by Yi Yun's strength, they were more willing to see Wu Gang unlucky and couldn't help but laugh at him. Listening to the bursts of laughter coming from around, Wu Gang became even more angry and shouted in a ferocious voice, Bastard, do you know how to escape? Watching Wu Gang gradually lose his sanity, Yi Yun also lost interest in continuing to play with him and said calmly to the Big Needle Bee, All right, let's end him, Big Needle Bee, Double Needle Attack. Upon hearing the command, the large needle bee appeared in front of the Abe Monster with a swipe. Then, the two needles lightly tapped Abe Monster's head. With a loud bang, Abe Monster bounced out ten meters away and fell heavily to the ground, drawing circles in its eyes, losing its combat ability. Chapter 8 The Reopened Pokémon Ball You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 The Reopened Pokémon Ball With a loud bang, the Abe Monster fell heavily to the ground, bringing up a cloud of dust. Zheng Xiaowei was already stunned by the scene in front of him. He didn't expect that Wu Gang, whom he had specially brought in, would be so vulnerable to a single blow. What's even more unexpected is that Yi Yun's strength is so strong. Seeing Wu Gang standing in the same place and feeling lost, his heart was already filled with anger. Kid, you'd better not meddle in your own business, Cheng Xiaowei said angrily with a stern expression. Well, if you leave now, I'll give you 500,000 yuan. How about that? Yi Yun stood quietly in place, unmoved or unresponsive to Jing Xiaowei's offer, only calmly calling out a big needle bee. The big needle bee immediately appeared in front of Jing Xiaowei with a brush, a pair of red eyes staring at Jing Xiaowei coldly, and two sharp guns flashed with chilling light, as if the next second storm like attack would fall on his head. Jing Xiaowei sat down on the ground, sweating profusely and trembling uncontrollably, with a warm sensation appearing between his legs. He trembled and said, You, you, it's illegal to drive elves to attack humans. Yi Yun remained unmoved and did not stop the big needle, while the big needle be further approached Qing Xiaowei. A strong chill instantly enveloped Qing Xiaowei. You, you have guts. Wait for me, hurry up, help me up, let's go, Qing Xiaowei shouted sternly to several attendants. Subsequently, a few people hastily left, causing bursts of laughter from the surrounding crowd. Before leaving, Zheng Xiaowei and Wu Gang both gave Yi Yun a resentful glance. Yi Yun was well aware of the resentment between the two, but he didn't care. In his heart, these people were just clowns jumping over a bridge. Wow, Teacher Yi is indeed the most powerful, and the Big Needle Bee is also very powerful. Zhao Liying excitedly saw it out loud, bouncing around Yi Yun and reaching out to touch the big needle bee. Yi Yun couldn't help but be startled. You should know that the big needle bee is not a good tempered elf. In the wilderness, there are often incidents of big needle bees attacking humans. Zhao Liying even touched the big needle bee with her hand. It should be noted that a stranger's sudden contact is likely to be attacked by the big needle bee. Fortunately, the big needle bee seemed to know that Zhao Liying and Yi Yun knew each other and did not launch an attack, but it had already made a buzzing sound. Yi Yun recognized that it was a warning and quickly withdrew it. Zhao Liying didn't care about Yi Yun retracting the hornet, but just hugged Yi Yun's arm and laughed foolishly. Although she only saw the second side, Zhao Liying seemed particularly close to him. By the way, Teacher Yi, this is Guan Xiaotong my good friend. By the way, Xiao Tong, this is Teacher Yi. Teacher Yi is the youngest professor in the history of Chinese opera, extremely talented. Thank you, Teacher Yi, Guan Xiao Tong walked forward slowly and said softly. Looking at the girl in front of him, Yi Yun couldn't help but exclaim, 
what an incredible pair of long legs. Guan Xiaotong, this girl, Yi Yun had heard of in her past life, but she should have studied at Beiying in her past life. Unexpectedly, in this world, she was actually in a play and was friends with Zhao Liying. Yi Yun waved his hand and said, It's okay. I'm a teacher at school, so naturally I wouldn't watch students being bullied by the hooligans in society. Moreover, I also know Ying Bao, so I can't just stand by and watch, Yi Yun said, touching Zhao Liying's head. Yes, yes, Zhao Liying nodded fiercely. This won't work. Let's go one by one. I'll treat Teacher Yi to dinner as a thank you, Guan Xiaotong said urgently. Eating. Yi Yun glanced at Guan Xiaotong. Isn't this the date that those few people just tried their best to get? Guan Xiaotong seemed to have thought of this too, and his face turned red involuntarily. He quickly said with a hint of panic in his tone, this, this, Li Ying also went. Looking at the girl who was shy but always looked straight at him, Yi Yun chuckled and said, he he, no need, it's not a big deal. Guan Xiaotong was in a hurry, but couldn't come up with any excuses for a moment, so he quickly pulled on Zhao Liying. Zhao Liying was clearly taken aback, but this time she didn't have a short circuit in her head. Instead, she quickly reacted and rushed to Yi Yun's side with a few steps. She hugged his arms and shook them left and right, saying, Go, Teacher Yi, go. Feeling the soft touch emanating from his arms, Yi Yun felt a moment of embarrassment. He looked at Zhao Liying, who looked like a koala, as if he wouldn't come down if he didn't agree. Yi Yun had no choice but to nod and say, All right, I can't stand you. Can't I go yet? Yeah, that's great, Zhao Liying excitedly compared her scissor hands and blinked at Guan Xiaotong, causing him to chuckle lightly. Okay, tomorrow, we'll invite Teacher Yi out to dinner, Guan Xiaotong said aloud when he saw Yi Yun agree. Okay, Ying Bao, see you tomorrow, Yi Yun touched Zhao Liying's head and said goodbye to the two people before quickly walking towards his villa. The reason why he was so eager to go back was because he had just felt a strange movement in his mind's pocket ball, as if it was about to open again. You should know that the last time the Pokemon ball was opened, Yi Yun's eyes had the ability to read Pokemon information. With anticipation for the change in the Pokemon ball, Yi Yun couldn't help but feel anxious and quickly walked towards his residence. As soon as he stepped into the room, Yi Yun's whole body suddenly shook. All the elf balls in his mind had already been opened, and a strong white light gushed out from it, quickly enveloping Yi Yun's entire body. Yi Yun was startled in his heart, but not panicked. Instead, he had a hint of anticipation. He had always been very curious about the mysterious elf ball in his mind. At this moment, in Yi Yun's room, there were white lights surrounding him, like immortals. With a schwa sound, as the white light grew increasingly intense and gradually reached its peak, Yi Yun's figure instantly disappeared from the room, and the room also fell silent, as if Yi Yun's figure had never appeared before. Chapter 9 The World of Pocket Monsters You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 The World of Pocket Monsters Yi Yun felt a dizzy sensation in his head, and his gaze could clearly see the ripples caused by the distortion of space around him. However, in a short moment, Yi Yun had already appeared in a strange place. Yi Yun looked around and saw towering trees all around him. In front of him, there were also patches of half-human tall grass. It was obvious that he was no longer in the city. I don't know, have I traveled again? Yi Yun couldn't help but wonder if he had offended this Pokemon ball in his previous life and smashed himself from the original world to a parallel world. He had just settled in the new world and brought himself to this unfamiliar place. Looking around at the trees that covered the sky and sun, Yi Yun couldn't help but feel uneasy. This can't be some primitive world, can it? Once you come, let's settle down. Yi Yun let go of his nervousness and walked towards the grass, as there seemed to be no road here and it seemed like he could only pass through the grass. The grassland was not easy to walk, but for some reason, Yi Yun felt a faint sense of familiarity in his heart, 
but he couldn't remember it for a moment. Damn it, it's a pocket monster, Yi Yun's mind suddenly flashed with a spiritual light, and his previous familiarity became clear, and he couldn't help but let out a scream of surprise. Just because this is a scene from a game I have played in my past life, Pocket Monster. Not bad, this is the grassland in Pocket Monster. It was only because it suddenly changed from a two-dot-dimensional scene to a grassland in reality, and it was much larger than in memory, that Yi Yun suddenly didn't realize it. The sudden appearance of the hyena in front of him in the next moment also confirmed Yi Yun's previous thoughts. Yi Yun, the hyena, looked at the hyena howling at him in front of him. Its strength was quite weak, so it was natural that he should be in the front few grasslands in the game. Fortunately, the big needle bee also came with me, Yi Yun took out the bee's Pokemon ball and let out a sigh of relief. Looking at the grinning earth wolf dog, Yi Yun also sighed. The character of the evil type elves was indeed bad, and the appearance of the earth wolf dog charging up at any time made Yi Yun dare not test his patience. He immediately released the big needle bee. The strength of the hyena is indeed quite weak, and a simple double needle strike from the hornet makes it lose its combat ability. Looking at the hyenas lying in place and losing their combat ability, Yi Yun did not subdue them. Just now, Yi Yun also understood that this time he should not be a permanent crossing, just because on the elf ball in his mind, Yi Yun could see a slowly decreasing countdown. Six hours, Yi Yun murmured to himself, knowing that this should be the opportunity brought to him by the opening of the Pokemon ball. Unfortunately, this time Yi Yun's journey was quite sudden. He only carried two empty Pokemon on his body, so of course, Yi Yun would not capture this inferior hyena. But now, thinking about it, although Yi Yun's first ability was simple, it was quite incredible. He could see the potential of an elf at any time, which was too helpful for capturing elves. These grasslands are much more difficult to walk through than in the game. Yi Yun struggled to move forward in the grass. During this time, several elves kept jumping out of the grass, with low potential. Yi Yun did not capture them, but among the elves that jumped out was a chrysanthemum leaf. This also made Yi Yun certain that this was the grassland above Wubai town. You should know that in the game, only the initial few grasslands were able to catch the three elves of the imperial family. Shortly thereafter, a small town appeared not far from Yi Yun, which also confirmed Yi Yun's idea. With just a simple glance, Yi Yun had already recognized that it was the first small town in the game, Guchen Town. There are too few highly qualified elves, Yi Yun sighed. Along the way, Yi Yun had already encountered dozens or twenty elves, and there were also a few from the imperial household. However, most of them were low.grade elves, with only a few of them being of medium quality, not even top.grade, let alone top.grade ones. This also made Yi Yun even more amazed that his predecessor's dog poop luck could easily save a top.notch hornet. The warm sunshine shines on the green grass, appearing so vibrant. And in this lush grass, there is a figure walking back and forth non. Stop. Yi Yun kept walking back and forth along the grass, seemingly finding the memories of playing the game and dealing with monsters. As time passed, although he still couldn't catch the happy elf, Yi Yun discovered something that surprised him immensely. Just now, when the great needle beat defeated an elf that jumped out of the grass, Yi Yun suddenly realized that the strength of the great needle bee had improved slightly. Yi Yun was first surprised, then ecstatic, is it like in the game that fighting monsters will increase experience and upgrade here? Subsequently, after careful observation, Yi Yun confirmed his conjecture that even if the Great Needle Bee did not defeat a single elf, there would be a slight improvement. Now, Yi Yun understood that the biggest advantage of this place is not only the capture of elves, but also the ability to make Pokemon stronger in monster hunting. You should know that in reality, the strength of Pokemon can be described as every step is extremely difficult. Training, care, and combat are all indispensable, and there are also huge bottlenecks when facing the promotion of each major level. However, here it is possible to rely solely on the combat experience of monster spawning to quickly improve Pokemon. 
Although it is unknown whether it can continue to overcome major bottlenecks, even so, it is already considered an incredible feat Yi Yun certainly wouldn't miss such a precious opportunity, and then entered a painful and joyful process of leveling up. Fortunately, in this world, although no one discovered it, the Pokemon Center in Guchen Town can still be used normally, which once again allowed Yi Yun to discover an incredible place. The machines in the Pokemon Center, just like in the game, can instantly restore all the states of the Pokemon, making Yi Yun almost unable to resist and directly dismantle, pack and take them away. As the elves fell one by one, the strength of the giant hornet also slowly increased, and Yi Yun couldn't even close his mouth. During this period, Yi Yun also tried to reach higher dot level grasslands, but failed. The farthest place Yi Yun could only reach was the grassland outside Guchen Town, and there was no road to go any further. He could only see a vast expanse of white. Although Yi Yun felt a moment of regret, he could only continue to walk in the grass. Bang, a sprite suddenly jumped out. Although he had seen it many times, Yi Yun was still surprised. Although the grass was quite tall, when Yi Yun walked through it, he could see everything inside very clearly. However, he was amazed that one sprite after another could appear out of thin air, truly worthy of the gaming world. When he regained his senses and carefully examined the newly emerged elf, Yi Yun couldn't help but shrink his pupils. Chapter 10 Need for Excellence You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Need for Excellence The grass shook for a moment, and then a sprite suddenly appeared in front of Yi Yun. With a round head and yellow skin, it looks particularly cute, but the blazing flames on its tail clearly indicated strong fighting spirit and desire for battle. Little Fire Dragon, Yi Yun's eyes flashed with a hint of love. You should know that Spitfire Dragon is definitely one of his favorite little elves, and he has also decided in his heart that as long as this little fire dragon's qualifications are not too poor, he will be subdued. You should know that it is definitely not an easy task to conquer the three elves in the real world. In the real world, although every child who is over 16 years old can theoretically obtain an elf, and they are basically from the three families, the prerequisite is that each person must pay a sum of money every month starting from the age of 10. Every month costs 10,000 yuan, which adds up to 700,000 yuan in six years. Although after paying the full amount, most of the rewards are top dot grade elves. It should be noted that the cheapest one on the black market is around 1.5 million yuan, not to mention the potential of the three elves in the imperial court. So, this can be said to be a very cost-effective thing, or it can be considered a national discount, but there are not many families who can afford this cost, basically they are wealthy families. And besides that, if you want to capture a wild elf from the Imperial Academy, it's simply wishful thinking. Yi Yun's mind immediately moved, and the information of the little fire dragon in front of him floated in front of him. Little fire dragon. Male attribute. Fire height. 0.6 m weight. 8 kilograms characteristic. Fierce fire hidden feature. Solar power strength. Junior high level qualification. Premium medium level, 93, skills. Claw, cry, spark, smoke screen evaluation. A highly qualified little dragon with an indomitable personality, never giving up, amazing potential, and worthy of full cultivation. However, due to malnutrition, its strength is slightly insufficient and needs to be properly adjusted. Yi Yun opened his mouth wide and looked at the information in front of him in shock. It turned out to be a top dot notch elf. Yi Yun couldn't help but be pleasantly surprised. As long as he caught this little dragon, even if he had nothing to gain in the following time, he wouldn't have come in vain. At this moment, the little fire dragon saw Yi Yun for a long time without any reaction, let out a tender roar, and then took the initiative to attack the large needle bee. The little fire dragon rushed forward and quickly approached the big needle bee, then lifted a paw and padded forward, which was the little fire dragon's sharp claw attack. The big hornet was momentarily unnoticed and was unexpectedly caught on the ground by a small fire dragon's claw from the air. 
you should know that just now the great needle be followed ye yun all the way, and none of the little elves in the grassland were its enemies. Not to mention attacking it, none of them could even get close to it. Now surprisingly, he was caught with a paw of the little fire dragon. Although he was not seriously injured, his body still looked a bit disheveled. The big hornet suddenly flew up from the spot, its red eyes flickering with a hint of blood, staring intently at the little dragon, emitting a chilly chill. The little fire dragon, however, was calm and fearless. The flames on its tail surged, indicating a boiling spirit of war. Yi Yun had a smile on his face and did not speak out to guide the big needlebee, because the difference in strength between the two was too great, and the little fire dragon could not be a match for the big needlebee. The fact is that after Yi Yun's long training, the great needlebee has already reached the peak of its elite strength, and is only one step away from the quasi-heavenly king. With just one attack, the little fire dragon was knocked down to the ground without moving. Yi Yun immediately pulled out a blank Pokemon ball and prepared to throw it. No matter who it was, the little fire dragon with such qualifications would not be let go. However, at this moment, the small fire dragon, which had originally fallen to the ground, shook and stood up again. Yi Yun was surprised in his heart, but he was even more fond of this little fire dragon. He knew that the attack from the big hornet just now had already exceeded the physical limit of the little fire dragon. Now, the reason why it could stand up was purely due to its amazing willpower. The little fire dragon stood up vigorously, continuously exhaling coarse air, but the flames on its tail suddenly surged. The little fire dragon looked up and let out a roar, with a hint of authority in its tender roar. Immediately, the little dragon opened its mouth and spat out sparks, gradually forming a trend of being connected and sweeping towards the large needle bee. The more Yi Yun looked at this little fire dragon, the more he liked it. He had never received any training, but he was able to unleash his fiery nature based on his own will. Now, he has even comprehended the embryonic form of the ultimate skill of spraying flames on his own. He can truly be said to be a top-notch elf. The wings of the great needle bee trembled, and a white light appeared on its body. It was a protective skill. The great needle bee used protection to withstand the overwhelming flames, but after the little fire dragon launched this attack, it could no longer support it and fell to the ground, losing its combat ability. Without any hesitation, Yi Yun threw the elf ball in his hand. The Pokemon ball hit the little fire dragon, emitting a red light and trapping it. The drip 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 Pokemon ball fell to the ground, swaying gently, making three crisp sounds. Later, there was a heavenly clatter. Upon hearing the sound, Yi Yun immediately knew that he had successfully subdued the little fire dragon. Yi Yun couldn't help but burst out laughing, and another top dot notch elf was taken into his bag. Fortunately, he was carrying a high dot level ball, which allowed him to hit in one go. If it was a regular ball, with only two empty balls on his body, Yi Yun really didn't have much confidence. Because I couldn't post statistical data online in the past, using regular balls to catch Pokemon required an average of five or more balls. There was even a widely circulated video online where an unlucky trainer used 200 Pokemon balls to catch Pokemon. It should be noted that although regular Pokemon balls are cheap, they still cost 100 yuan each. If you use 200, it is far more expensive than the price of advanced balls. This is also the reason why formal trainers are rare, because most people cannot afford the huge training expenses. Although being a trainer can also increase income, those with higher incomes are basically high-dot-level trainers. Ordinary low-dot-level trainers have no income at all, so they mostly need the supply from home. Without much thought, Yi Yun walked towards the elf center of Guchen town with the little dragon's elf ball. Time flowed rapidly, and after catching the little fire dragon, Yi Yun continued to engage in the process of brushing monsters and leveling up. When a person is focused on doing something, time always passes very quickly. The sky in the game world has gradually darkened, and the countdown in Yi Yun's mind is about to come to an end. Little Fire Dragon, Spraying Flames Big Needle Bee, 
Double Needle Attack, Little Fire Dragon, Don't Use Sparks, Spray Flames. During this period, Yi Yun alternated between using the Little Fire Dragon and the Great Needle Bee for battles. Although the improvement of the Great Needle Bee was not as obvious as that of the Little Fire Dragon, it was still making progress. Yi Yun had already felt that the Great Needle Bee was getting closer and closer to the quasi Heavenly King. Clear targets always inspire people to fight, and Yi Yun enjoys this kind of hard work of monster hunting. Unfortunately, during this period, Yi Yun did not encounter a second highly qualified elf. The slow passage of time seeing the time in his mind that was nearing its end, Yi Yun was also prepared to give up and continue searching for the elf, after all, he had already caught a small fire dragon no matter what. But at this moment, a cute elf suddenly jumped out of the grass. The first time Yi Yun saw the appearance of the elf, he couldn't help but feel happy in his heart, but then he became anxious because time was about to come. Big Needle Bee, attack that elf with all your might. Yi Yun shouted urgently, and before the attack could be completed, he threw out the remaining empty elf ball in his hand. 